Hi everyone and welcome to another YouTube video. In this video I'll be showing you how I sharpen my pastel pencils. Pastels are really hard to sharpen and I've struggled for so long to try and find something which actually works. Um, it's not necessarily a perfect solution, there are other faults but yeah this works for me. So for these Faber-Castell pastel pencils they're more of a harder pastel pencil so they don't um, crack and crumble as easily so I use this sharpener here which is the Swordfish Icon sharpener I can't remember how much it was I think it was about $12.99 on Amazon or something like that and this works really really well for these pencils in particular I also do use the Stabilo Carbothello pastel pencils for this sharpener as well and sometimes the Derwent ones although the Derwent ones are a little bit soft as well I find they crumble quite easily so yeah, I'm just going to demonstrate how well this works. So you just pull it out, you have to make sure this bit is pulled out and then to insert the pencil there's a little button on the side you just hold down and you can insert the pencil in. And then just sharpen away, twist the handle until you can feel that it's not actually sharpening anymore. You can feel like the pressure kind of disappears. I don't really know how to explain it but you know what I mean. And then yeah, here we go. Very sharp pointy perfect for little details so I would say these are probably the pastel pencils that I use the most but then I use the Caran d'Ache ones for a base so I'll show you how I sharpen those in a second the swordfish um, icon sharpener you can buy spare blades for which is really handy so you don't have to buy a brand new sharpener every single time I think the blades are about five pounds or something on Amazon I'm not entirely sure but they come in this little box and then I'll just show you how you change them as well. So you open up the, the back bit, you just twist it and then it pops out and then because the blade is quite sharp you have to hold onto it with a cloth or I just use some kitchen towel here and then you twist the metal bit and then that pops off and then there you go. There's the blade and then you can just pop a new one in and you're good to go. I'm not sure how often I change the blades, maybe every like two or three months, maybe every two months, it depends how much drawing I'm doing to be honest, but it, the blades do get worn down quite quickly with pastels because yeah they just wear away the blade easier than like a normal pencil would, which is annoying because it's expensive to keep replacing the blades, but never mind it does the job and then I get to use really sharp pencils in my artwork which is what I like. So here it is all put together again, so it's really easy to change the blade, really simple. So the Caran d'Ache pastel pencils, they are a lot thicker than a normal pencil, so they don't fit into the sharpener. Um, and if they did fit into normal sharpeners, then they would just crumble anyway, because the pastel is actually really soft, it just crumbles. So to sharpen these, I used a craft knife. I think it was, I got this one from Hobbycraft or something, just really cheap. Um, it's not a very sharp blade because I've been using the same one for ages so it's quite blunt but just kind of slowly shave away the wood around the tip of the pastel pencil as you can see here. It does not create a perfect point by any means but these pen pastel pencils, the Caran d'Ache ones, I usually use as a base anyway so I don't need them to be sharp. I just use this to get rid of some of the wood to reveal more of the pastel really. I'm sure there are ways you can get these ones really sharp but I don't really need to do that so I just do this and then use the Faber-Castell ones for all the details and stuff. It's quite stiff, <laughs> the wood's quite tough but I'm sure if you got a sharper blade it would work a lot easier, I just can't be bothered to put it bluntly. <laughs> and then yeah so that's what that would look like, so it just reveals some of the pastel at the end, it's not super sharp or anything. So yeah, I hope you found the video useful and I highly recommend this Swordfish Icon Sharpener. Thanks for watching, bye!